yourself a Christian, <laughs> you better know how to love how God loves. And it's all inclusive and it's unconditional. And here's the kicker. The kicker, the kicker and the hardest part about that kind of love is that that means you also have to love your enemy. And we can't, we're, we're, in, we're in a place right now where we're not doing that. It's we're not the listening. Thing to do. Well, the problem is we're not listening to each other. We're not listening for understanding. We're just yelling and screaming and we're feeling really safe with our Twitter thumbs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But no one would ever say half of the stuff they're saying to people if, they're if they have true. to sit right in front of another yeah. human. Yep. You wouldn't say half of that stuff. So that's the problem we have. You know, um, social media is numbing us all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's numbing us and we're forgetting that these are real people. Yeah. All right. So, um, don't sound wrong to me. What, what yeah. was the, what was the uh, no? I, I guess the whole part people had to like like oh the odds was way more inclusive. So you, you think she was making a bigger point about include inclusive like being Christians have to be inclusive, meaning like like y'all can't be standoffish. Y'all can't say you love God and and hate certain people. Oh okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, just listen to what she said. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But if she, if she's trying to tie it to um. <sighs> Saying sin is sin, and, yeah. you know that kind of thing. Then, then she's she's wrong. He gets but, us, <laughs> but I mean, I don't. I think what <clears throat> the ultimate goal of I don't know what he gets us is trying to accomplish. But they're not wrong about what they're saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just when they're attaching it to some other agenda. Yeah, that's when it gets a little murky. But just listening to her words is not wrong. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, what she said, she didn't say nothing bad. But when you say inclusive. Inclusive people, means, yeah. And most of the people who was cheering when she said that, I'm pretty sure they didn't. If she was meaning it the correct way, they probably took it in a way where, like, yeah, you got to love all of us no matter what right. we do. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And again, that's not wrong. Yeah. Right. You're supposed to love everybody. Yeah. It's just, it's just what people are going a little bit further than that. What they're saying is, you have to approve of everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and that's and that's the um that's where the rub is where we're 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 called to love everybody, love our neighbor, just like mm -hmm. she said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what ends up happening is even if you do, and not all of us do, some mm -hmm. of us are really mean. Let's just be yeah, honest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even when you actually are trying to love, if you are not completely in support of, it comes off as hate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you balance how do you do that right as a Christian? Because I think I think a lot of people who are complaining about Christians in this way. They're not completely wrong because there's so many people who do it out of hate. Yeah. Right. That when somebody does say they love, they don't believe them because they're like, oh, you're just like the but, other ones. But yeah. here's the question though. <clears throat> if you go from her version versus a biblical stance on version, version of love, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, you like like we we always talk about Jesus was this, Jesus was that, he's with the sinners or that. Yeah, but when Jesus was around sinners, he was like, don't go back to what you just came out of. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like, yeah, I'm just chilling. Me and Jesus, we up here at the party. It wasn't like that. It was, yeah. it was like, yo, you know, hey, ma'am, I don't know what you're going through. But after the situation, sin no more. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, I think, um, like you said, he took a stance. But I do think sometimes with Christians, the, the issue that we have is if it's a particular sin that we feel passionate about or yeah. something we have a problem with, yeah, that's right. as a straight man, I'm dealing with somebody who practices homosexuality. Sometimes my personal feelings about homosexuality can come out in my communication yeah, with that. Yeah. It doesn't always feel like love because I feel so strongly about certain things. So we have to really guard our heart and our mind and realize, okay, we're talking to a person, an individual. Remember, a brother or sister offended is hard to win anyway. Yeah. So let me respect you. Let me come to you in love. The Bible says correct those people in love. Not right. Don't be aggressive and don't be, be hateful. And at the end of the day, we all have a choice to live how we want to live. So if you want to live differently, I don't want it to be because the church was so mean to me. They mm -hmm. didn't show me the kind of love that made me feel like I don't want to be a part of the yeah. fold. Exactly. Let it be that they show love, they show grace. I just don't agree with the way they uh, they want to live their life. Right. What you think, Lee? For me, a key point that she made that I do agree with is that we're not listening to each other. Yeah. And I think that that speaks to what you're saying, where it's like people can end up in conversations with not the intention of actually listening mm -hmm. or understanding to um uh in in order to actually be helpful mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and i think that actually when when people get in conversations um like that and and it and it goes left it's because everybody's coming from a place of pride mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and not actually love and um i was watching an episode of with the perrys and i forget uh wh which episode it was but um at some point they said you know um 
if you if you tell somebody the truth but it's in a garbage bag like why would they yeah. take it from you you just gave them a reason to reject it mm-hmm. you know yeah so um so yeah and and we are called to love everybody mm-hmm. right like that's not incorrect yeah. um and i think that we could just learn a lot more about love you know mm-hmm. yeah. um and maybe we should do that before we go try to yeah um, save the how world. do you do save it the world right how do you do it though when just saying just just the simple truth of this is a sin yeah is considered hate mm. How do you do that? I think people want to do whatever they want to do. So I think one thing about Christians we have to realize is like we're going against the world. So we can't be offended or upset with people just because they're not going to agree with our stance. We have to be mentally prepared to know that when we say this is sin, we're going to get some kickback. People are going to say, oh, this is hate, this and that. But you know in your heart you're coming in love. That's the reason why I'm telling you it's a sin because I love you and Mm -hmm. I don't want to see you fall. But like she was saying, the delivery of that, and if we're nice and we're cordial, and we say, "Hey, this is right and wrong. We don't want to come hateful, yeah. and this and that." And they still choose to say, "You know what? You still coming at me hateful." At that point, they drew a line in the sand and said, "This is pretty much how yeah. I want to live." Right. Well, we can't control yeah. that because I feel like a lot of people feel like love is acceptance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Period. Like love isn't love. Love is like you accept me for me, and you accept everything I do. You accept, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like sometimes that love is. Love, you can show the love like you just said, mm-hmm. but people may not feel that because you're not accepting accepting them for who they are, mm-hmm. who they feel they think they are, mm-hmm. versus who you know God has created them to be. Right. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I think that's the difference of love, tolerance, inclusive. Yeah, you can you can you can do all that stuff, but if we if we talking about the Word of God, if we're talking about being a Christian and Christian love, mm-hmm. then Christian love has a standard. That Jesus met that we got to meet every day of our lives that mm-hmm. we're telling people like, hey, the standard is him. The standard is loving him that I love him so much that mm-hmm. by me loving him, I love you mm-hmm. unconditionally. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. kind of, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, if, but if I don't, but if I don't, if I agree more about what you, what you personally do than him, then I'm out of whack. Mm -hmm. And I can't love you the way he wants me to love you. Yeah. And I think also just kind of the best example of how we should approach it is laid out for us in, in, in the way that Jesus showed up. Right. Mm -hmm. We see him every time he tells the truth, every time he shares a parable, every time he tells the truth, there's somebody over there waiting to, you know, uh, be combative and, you know, disprove whatever (laughs) he's saying or, you know, um, and, and he, you don't see him get stirred by it. Is like okay, I I was I did my part. You know what I'm saying? I told the truth. Yeah. But I don't. I, my part is not to retaliate at you. Yeah. Because you didn't you didn't yeah, yeah. like what I said. That's you know. Point. Our job is to witness. Is to bear witness. Is not exactly. to convince and to force. Right? right. So you said it. You presented it. Let God do the work. You don't have to sit there and fight people like you got. It's that pride though. A lot, yep. a lot of people. I want to be the one responsible for your conversion. Yeah. My mm-hmm. prayer and my ministry is the reason why you're saved now. People want that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah. one yeah. of the things in the prayer. So I can come online and say, hey, we pray for this sister right here and she turned from witchcraft. We pray for this brother. He left pornography. Yeah. Our ministry, if you want to come to our church and see <laughs> yeah. our, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty much how church is being advertised these days. Yeah. Like, come join yeah. us, not the body. Come mm. be a part of what I'm Some doing. Some you said sticking out in my mind. You said, Love is acceptance, and I'm, it, it made me wonder when that happened, right? Because when you're growing up, you have parents, yeah, mm-hmm. and love at that point is acceptance and correction, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know that both yeah. is love, mm-hmm. but at some point, love is just acceptance to people, yeah. and I think the reason I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole in my mind, the reason is is because your parents had authority over your life, yeah, yeah. but we don't have authority over their life, yeah. Mm-hmm. What just points back to the fact that the church is no longer seen as an authority, yeah, mm-hmm. right, yeah. 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 It used to be the church. Yeah. You, even people that were like not really that religious yeah. or that they still saw church as an authority. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've lost that. They don't see church as an authority over nothing. Well, so you telling me something is a sin? Yeah, it's like. But I think. But what I they think. Do with me? I think authority in general is in question. People don't. They don't authorize don't like police. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't respect police. They don't respect people. They don't respect. People that God, I mean, Scripture talks about authority being God putting authority in our lives. Right. You know what I mean? That, that's to, gone. To, that, that's they, gone. We're in a rebellion time. We're in the, I'm the authority of me. Yeah. We're going we to get into that right now. 